Let's take a look at something that I consider to be one of the most powerful organizational tools in the Adobe family. It's called Bridge. Bridge has been out there historically since version 6. Now, I'm not talking CS, the Creative Suite 6. I'm talking about when Photoshop was called version 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's been out there for a while. Now, when it was in 6, it basically was a part of Photoshop. Around CS2, they made it a separate application. So let's do a test here. I want you to go up to the word File on the pull-down menu, and you should see Browse in Bridge. Go ahead and select that. If, for whatever reason, you cannot access Bridge, that means you either have a very, very old version of the program, which is possible, or you haven't installed it. Now, all the Creative Suite applications, we're on the cloud now, but all the Creative Suite applications, it was a standard install. But if you don't see it, you just need to reload. It'll be there. If you've got the cloud, it is actually a download that you have to make. Now, there are only two things different in what you see on your screen and what I see right now, probably, if you're opening it for the first time. And that is I have Andy's image files over here and ongoing projects. Those two I added. We're going to talk about how you do that. You have computer. This is my home folder. Desktop, documents, and pictures. Typically, that's default. If you go up to the word Bridge CC and go into Preferences, you will notice if you go into General, there they are. Now, if you don't want to see those things, you don't have to see them. Let's go ahead and get out of here. If you click on any one of these, it will move into content all the material that is in that particular favorite. So if I go into Ongoing Projects, that's all my ongoing projects. My image files, pictures, documents, desktop. To get something into favorites, it's actually pretty easy. You got to locate it first. I guess that's the hardest part. So if you have a couple of monitors, maybe, you can drag things into favorites from your desktop if that's the way you want to do it. Or you can go searching for it, say, go into my desktop. And let's say, for the sake of argument, that this particular folder right here is something that I'm working on. It's a project and it's a temporary kind of thing. I need it for my client. I need to get to those files. I'm tired of playing where's the folder. So I find it on my desktop or my computer, wherever it is, and I drag it over. Now, if you see a double line, you're putting it in nested with ongoing projects. If you see a single line, let go. And well, there it is. You have now access to that information. Now, at the end of the project, I don't want hundreds of things in my favorites. I just use it for projects and organizing myself. All I have to do is come over here and right click on it. And I have two choices. Remove from favorites, which is what I want to do. Now that doesn't delete it. Don't forget it just removes it from favorites. But the other one I do like is reveal and finder. Andy, I've got something in favorites. I mean, I can get to it by clicking on it, but I can't remember where it is. Reveal and finder. Let me go ahead and remove this one here. Let's take a spin around the program real quick here. You have up here some arrows that allow you to go backward or forward in the direction that you were working. Now, we also have a breadcrumb, that's what I call a trail up here, where we can go back if you want to do it this way. These are the different spaces that you have. You have different ones that you can work in. You have a search area over here if you're looking for something. We'll talk more about searching later. Over here, you have a folders option. Now, this takes you into a normal kind of like computer structure. If you want to find your stuff that way, that's fine. Down here, we can do filtering. I love collections. Let's go back over here into my desktop for a second. If you select something, I do food photography. Basically, it will give you a preview over there on the right. It will give you information about the image, allow you to enter in things like keywords. So it gives you all of this information very quickly and very easily, all from the bridge. Now, down here, if we click on this little slider, we can make our items bigger, or if you want to, we can make them smaller. Lots of different really cool features. The primary purpose of Bridge is to help you organize your stuff. And it's not just Photoshop, don't forget. It can be just about anything you want it to be.